for us Pacific women, we need to be strong. We need to think about ourselves, our health, our body, our mind, and we need to have the confidence to talk to our doctors about breast cancer. Breast awareness is really important for every woman over about the age of 20, and breast awareness means being aware of your body and being aware um, of what's normal for you. And if there's anything that you uh, pick up, something new, a change in your breasts, specifically because we're talking about breast screening, um, then you've got to, um, not to sit on it, but you've got to um, visit your family doctor and have a conversation about it, have an assessment. If you find that you have any change in your breast, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about any change in the size of your breast, if you find that your nipple um, is, is, re is, is going back inside, or if um, you have noticed any change in the skin, skin colour or nipple discharge, any of those symptoms or really any concerns, you should just go see your doctor. Also, like if you've got a family history of breast cancer and a first degree relative, and by that I mean either you've had a sister who's had breast cancer, um, your mom who's had breast cancer, or a daughter who's had breast cancer. So if, you, if, you're in, if any of those things um, sort of apply to you, then your risk of having breast cancer are much more likely than someone who doesn't. Another factor is weight gain after menopause. And this is a really hard issue and it's to be aware of it and do your very best to keep it under control. Unfortunately, being a woman and growing older are the two main risk factors, which I'm afraid we can't do anything about. Some women will say, oh, well, my breasts are fine. You know, there's no pain, no changes whatsoever. So why do I need to go for the screening program? Um, because they, they, they think that if you've got problems, then, then only do you go for the screening program. I think we need to clarify to all the women that screening is a program for well women. I think many times we stay home and we think it'll go away. And we ask everyone else except our family doctor. So it's really important that our women understand if there's anything that you don't understand might be happening with your breast, just go ask your doctor. It's better to ask and then find out that it's normal and that's fine. Well, the mammogram in the breast screen program, we do it for early detection. It's the best way that we can, or the, the easiest way that we can actually save your life by finding breast cancers really early. Before it can be felt and before it causes changes to the breast that um, a woman might, or her GP might notice. It's very important to have a mammogram, even if there's no pain, no symptoms, no lumps, bumps, no nipple discharge. Even if there's nothing, it's very important to have a mammogram. All my results are, you know, perfect. Yeah, so I have no worries about it. But, um, you know, every time that I, you know, the last time that I had my mammogram, I wasn't happy because I, um, it was sore, to be honest. It was sore, but um, it was okay. You know, afterwards, I felt really happy. And when I got my results, I, I praise God. You know, I haven't got anything to worry myself, especially my husband and my children. I'm Wren. Um, I'm the first point of contact when ladies come into the van. The mobile screening unit, it's really good because it brings our service into the community. Some of our ladies come on with their grandchildren, great-grandchildren. So it's a, it's a whānau friendly environment. It's not a clinic. It's very comfortable. And you're out within it's 10 relaxed. minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah. Breast screening's about looking after yourself. It's about, uh, and it's not just about identifying your breast health, it's about being motivated to look after your health in every way. Good food, good exercise, um, managing stress, which is quite difficult, and um, being, having a really good life balance. For us Pacific women, um, one of the things we need to remind ourselves constantly is the need to look after ourselves. We're busy looking after our children 
our aunties, our uncles, our granddads, our, our fathers and mothers, and everybody else except ourselves. So it's really important that we also acknowledge that we also are human beings and we need to look after ourselves. We have all sorts of people who ring us who want to enroll the ladies on the program as long as they fit the criteria, which is age 45 to 69 a New Zealand resident or you, if you have a work permit of two years you can um, enroll on the program. When the ladies call in here we will um, take their names, their date of birth, their addresses, all the telephone numbers, even the doctor's details. We'll enter them into our system and then what we'll do is send them an invitation letter with a date um, and a place where they could go for their appointment. Just go out there and speak to your whanau, your sister, your mother, your grandmother. If she hasn't had a mammogram in the last two years, get her enrolled. Just ring us on the 0800 number. Here we go, Anne. You can just have a seat for me, thank you. My name is Moni and I'll do the pictures for you today. And just a couple of questions before we mm -hmm. start today, all right? Yeah. Basically, x-rays that we use, um, it's a low-dose radiation, and that's an x-ray of the breast. So uh, we do two pictures, one from the top and one from the side, um, and that gives us an indication of the bright, what breast tissue looks like inside and if there's anything abnormal present. Um, we offer a gown. We do not have to take the gown right off. We only expose the area that is necessary. So we're trying to take into consideration if people are really shy, to accommodate them and to make it as easy as possible for them. And I'm pushing down. It's very tight, very firm. We do the two pictures straight and for a follow on. Grammar is really, really safe. We do lo um, use low dose radiation and all MRT's technicians is trained to use the Alara principle that's as low as reasonably possible dose. So we only do the basic pictures that we do need. The minimum is four pictures. And by the time that you get home, the radiation dose is already worked out of the body. You to lift up your arm over the corner and down. And it's very important just to look after yourself because if you don't look after yourself, who's going to look after your family? If you have a mammogram and it's abnormal, you'll get a call from a breast care nurse and she'll ask you to come back to what's called an assessment clinic. She'll have extra views, she'll have a clinical examination and she'll have ultrasound and she may or may not lead on to have a biopsy. A biopsy is a procedure where um, the doctor will take out some small pieces of tissue out of the breast with a hollow needle and send them off to the lab for testing and that's a way of finding out whether that lump is something to worry about or not. That's another part of the assessment. Not everybody has it, but most lumps that we biopsy are not cancer. The size of these little seeds here is the size of the smallest possible abnormality that we can find in a breast with a mammogram. Now there's no way you could possibly feel that. And it would take years and years for tiny little cancer spots like that to turn into a lump that you could possibly feel. This plant here is about the size of a cancer lump that you will feel yourself. It has to grow from a tiny little spot to a lump like that before you'll feel it in your own breast. And that's quite a big difference. And that would take a number of years. I think it's always important that, um, that, we, let, that we allow our families into our life, even into our personal space when that happens. When you talk to someone that hasn't been through it, they know all the answers, but they haven't been through it, so they're not the answers that you want. So the support group that we formed is, everybody's been through it, we all know the pains, the gains, the, the everything else, the cravings, the hot flushes, you name it, everything that comes with it, we know, and so we all share it and discuss it. And look at all the hair, oh my okay. god! Oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like <laughs> We had, we had scarves over Bee Heads. Yeah. And look at us now. Yeah, I... but that's why we want to do this. The awareness that goes out, the more people that know about it, then it's not so scary anymore. See, look at us. We don't look scared. We don't look scary. Hey, girls. <laughs> hey, girls. Yeah, that's us. There is no miracle cure, but there mm -hmm. is love and support, which is the main thing in all the families. Mm -hmm. And um, once you have that, 
it doesn't matter about anything else. Don't be ashamed that you, you're going through this, you know, let people know because um, you don't want their pity, but you're wanting their prayers. And, and I think that's my encouragement for women is that uh, you don't walk alone. And, and if you ever think that uh, um, you're alone, you can always call me, I'll come and help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll <laughs> <sure> too. <laughs>